Today we're going to make this cute toilet paper tube chicken craft. To get started, we are going to need some scissors, a black marker, crown, or a pencil crown, a pencil, a toilet paper tube, and we're going to need some different colors of paper. I am going to use yellow for the body of my chick, orange for the feet and the beak, and white for the eyes. We also need some glue. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is grab your toilet paper tube. So I'm going to take my toilet paper tube. I am going to try and find the middle of it. So just find the middle of your toilet paper tube and put a little mark with your pencil so that you can see where it is. Then you're going to grab your scissors and you are going to cut in the center. So just cutting in that center and you're going to end up with two toilet paper tubes. You could actually make two chicks if you would like. Okay, now take one of those toilet paper tubes and take the yellow piece of paper. Now if you're making your chicken a different color, then just take a different color piece of paper. This is going to be the body. I'm going to line up my toilet paper tube at the edge of my paper and then use my pencil and just make a little mark where the toilet paper tube ends. So there's where my toilet paper tube ends and I'm going to take that mark and make a line that goes all the way down my page. So I went all the way down my page. Now I drew my a line with freehand, which means I just drew it all the way down. If it's too hard for you, grab a ruler and draw your line and then use your scissors and cut that out. Now you are going to take that toilet paper tube again and you're going to roll the piece of paper around it, just rolling, rolling, rolling until it covers the whole toilet paper tube. And then take your pencil again. So see how I've covered it? I'm gonna take my pencil again. I'm gonna put a little tick and I'm going to use that tick and draw a line straight across and that's where I am going to cut again. So I'm just cutting it so I have a nice long rectangle that's going to cover up my toilet paper tube. And that's what we're doing. We're going to put glue on that rectangle, put our toilet paper tube back on it and just cover that up. Just using your fingers to rub so the glue sticks and if you need to add more glue, don't worry, you can do that. Okay, let's put that aside and now let's grab a, the rest of that yellow piece of paper. Now these are going to be our wings. If you're using a different color, just grab a different color. I'm going to fold my piece of paper in half. So all I did was fold it over, then I'm going to take my pencil and we are going to draw the wings. The first thing we are going to do is start on one end of your page and draw a line that goes all the way across. So I'm starting on the left, I'm drawing a line that goes all the way to the right, so left to right. Then I am going to come down and I am going to curve and stop. And I'm going to go down a little bit lower, curve and stop, and a little bit lower and curve and stop. So I went across, down, curve, stop, down, curve, stop, and down, curve, and stop. And then once you have all those curves, you are going to grab your scissors and cut them out. Now when I open them up, you can see there's a line in the middle where they are stuck together. I am just going to cut on that line so I end up with two. Next, we are going to use that yellow piece of paper and I just want to cut off a small little square. So there, I'm just using a little square and I'm going to draw three thin, tall triangles. So three thin, tall triangles and we are going to cut those out. Our next step is to grab that yellow, orange, not yellow, orange piece of paper. Now with this orange piece of paper, I'm going to fold it over. Now I am making little feet. So whatever color you want to make your feet. I'm going to take my pencil. I am going to put a line that goes up and down and another line right beside it. So two parallel lines with a space in the middle. Now I am going to go on the side of one of those lines. I'm going to go out and in, just like a little triangle, out and in. Now I'm going to do the same thing going upwards. So up and down, so up and down, and out and in again. So you can see there's three triangle pieces. One's going to the left, one's going to the top, and one's going to the right. Now I folded my paper, so when I cut this out, I am going to end up with two feet that are the same shape, same size. So they're gonna be congruent. If you would like different feet, make whatever type of feet you would like, no problem. You just need two of them. I'm going to also use that orange piece of paper and 
I want to make a little beak. So I'm just gonna cut off a little piece so it makes it a little bit easier here. Now using this piece of paper, I'm gonna make sure I fold it over. So I'm folding it back over, putting my finger on that fold line. I'm gonna use my pencil. I'm going to draw a diagonal line one way and then a diagonal line back the other way. So it's a little triangle. I'm going to keep my fingers on that fold line when I cut because I don't wanna cut on that fold line. When I'm done, I want my shape to be able to open up. So there you go. See how it opens up like a little beak? Now we are going to grab our white piece of paper, fold it in half, draw a circle and cut that out. These are going to be the eyes. So if it doesn't work for you, don't worry. Just make sure you make two eyes for your chick. Now we're going to do some assembling. You're going to take that toilet paper tube and you're going to add your eyes. So you just put a little bit of glue on the back of each eye and you're going to place that on your toilet paper tube. Once you have that done, you are going to grab the beak. Now I only put glue on one side of that beak, so one part of the triangle, and then you place that and push that down so it sticks, and then the other part will stick up. There you go, see how it's sticking up, just like a little beak. The next part I am going to put on are going to be my feet. Now I want to take the top of my foot, the little part at the top, and fold it over. So you can see I'm folding over the top and that way I can put some glue right on that little fold and then I can put it inside my toilet paper tube and then once I fold it over, there it fits perfectly. Do the same thing for the other one. So I'm folding the top, just a little bit on the top, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the piece that I folded and then I'm going to place that inside that toilet paper tube at the bottom and then just press so it sticks and then the fold line's already there so I can just fold up and there we go. It works out perfectly. It's time to glue the wings on. So to grab those wings, you want to make sure that the part of the wing that we curved, so that curved part is facing the bottom where the feet are and then you're going to put a little bit of glue on the side of your wing and you're going to glue it in behind. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue in behind. So remember that straight edge is facing the top of your bird and that curved edge is facing the bottom where the feet are. You're going to do the exact same thing but you're going to do on the other side putting a little bit of glue on and then gluing that in behind. And you're just pushing that down so that it sticks fell off so I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra glue no problem and now we are going to glue those triangles so I'm putting a bit of glue on the bottom of my triangle and I'm going to put that facing one way and then I'm going to take my second one and face it going straight to the top and then I'm going to take my third one and face it going a little bit to the other side so you can see I have one facing a little bit to the left one to the top and one facing a little bit to the right and now I'm using my black marker to put little pupils on the inside of my eyes just to finish him off. And there you have it, a very easy and cute toilet paper tube chicken craft. Thank you for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.